The Olympic Park in London has gone from party central to an empty blocked off construction site overnight. On Monday morning, the main stadium was blocked off by metal barriers and concession stands were closed. The Olympic Park has been visited by more than 5 million people over the last 17 days. It will be closed for the public until the Paralympics and for almost a year afterwards. While some venues are torn down and others are modified, it will open in stages from next summer as the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. Meanwhile, thousands of Olympic athletes started streaming into Heathrow Airport on Monday morning. Heathrow opened a special Olympic terminal with 31 check-in desks to accommodate departing athletes and support staff. The special terminal, designed like a London park, was filled with iconic items such as a red telephone box and a double-decker bus. Esther Lofgren from the USA rowing team spoke to us at the terminal. Oh my gosh, there! I am going to have so many memories from these games. Um, I got to, I mean, besides getting this, which is the best race of my life, um, which is going to be a great memory, uh, I, getting to see the other athletes compete is just amazing. Um, I used to play volleyball before I rowed, and I was able to go see beach volleyball. I got to see Usain Bolt run, um, and just, I mean, some of the random stuff like hanging out in the dining hall and meeting people from other countries. It's just been amazing. <laughs> Some 116,000 people are expected to leave Britain from Heathrow Airport this week, an exodus that includes some 6,000 athletes and UK Prime Minister David Cameron for his long-awaited summer vacation.